Today is a pretty big day for Thrawn's Revenge. For those who have missed out on all the teasers by Corey Loses and the Thrawn's Revenge team, a new ship has been in the works for quite a long time. And finally, today we've been given the privilege of a sneak peek at exactly what is coming to Thrawn's Revenge and what might be the first step of many that will take this game in a completely new direction. Now this ship is no joke. When shown, do not be fooled by its size. This thing can absolutely decimate multiple ISD2s as well as be incredibly mobile. And with the next patch, it will see some new top of the line fighters spawned from its single fighter bay. Just to give you some idea numbers wise, ISDs are roughly 6,000 hull and shield points. This bad boy, we're talking 25,000 hull and shield points, as well as 300 damage per turbo laser. So hopefully this can explain why I'm really excited to show you this amazing ship today. So we're splitting this up into two matches. The first match will be to introduce the new ship, show its power against numerous opponents, and the second match will pit this incredible vessel against seven hard AIs, all on the same team, and we'll see just how well we all do. Time codes to that second match will be on the screen right now. Before we jump in, guys, did you know nearly 50% of you that watch our videos are not even subscribed? If you love all things Star Wars, Empire at War, and perhaps even our infamous Birio Kart series, be sure to hit that subscribe button and ring that notification bell. It goes a really long way. And after that, let's get right into the video. Right, so I've started a battle at Fondor just so I can show you this ship. So it is currently in the CSA and uh, it is right here at 22,000 credits with a great fox as seen in the popular series Star Fox 64 and other Star Fox series uh, can't wait to show you guys the model looks absolutely amazing let me just quickly capture these asteroids I've put the AI on hard just so we can give ourselves a bit of a challenge and I picked this map just because I think it looks great in this map. So let's get a good look at this guy. Wow, there's the logo, as you can see here. Amazing. Look at that. Beautiful. So this is still in the works, by the way, guys. Uh, you probably won't get a patch with this ship just yet. But um, hopefully soon. There's the two turbo lasers right there. And we'll also start seeing some uh, fighters be spawned in the in the carrier right under there. Uh, hopefully. Let's just put it in the, uh, the battle cam. Oh, just had it just a second ago. Any moment now. There we go. Look at that. Beautiful. So what we'll do is we'll uh, start putting this guy against some ships and show you just how strong the Great Fox really is. So in the next patch, it will start generating like a new wave of fighters, like a new generation. Um, so it will start spawning some R-Wings. You might get some like R-Wings 2, some Cloud Runners, uh, some Wolfens, Wolfen 2s, etc, etc. So like these, you know, these are going to be like top tier fighters that, that are going to be very expensive. So they've already got that uh, asteroid there and we're already fighting for this one. But that does not matter because this guy is immensely strong. So I'm going to build another one. But I just want to show you. Here's an Arkansas. Uh Just see just how much it just completely wipes it with just a few shots. Once it hits it, can you see just how much damage it, it does? The accuracy isn't all there. But obviously the Arkansas is a very fast ship, very small. But um, again, these are not final. These are up for uh, changes later on down the line. But uh, here we go. You can see just it's a lot of damage. Like shields gone in like one or two shots. If we bring it up closer, hopefully we'll start hitting. But yeah, as, it, as you can see, it takes hardly any damage. It's in this really beefy ship. Let's see if I can boost the, uh, the firepower. See if it can't. Land a hit or two. There we go. 
But you can probably see, like, how effective this would be for bigger ships. So I will give you an example of this in the, um, in the, uh, fleet builder. If it's there, I'm not sure yet. I haven't checked that, but we'll see. Look at that. Insane. Bring it over to this other Arkansans. I'm actually going to let them have all of the uh, asteroids. Just so we can actually see some bigger ships come in. So, ooh, is it going to hit? No. Let's try and drop enough one in and see if it... Because again, the, sh the turbo laser is very, like, inaccurate here and there. Like, it's kind of hard to hit. But once they do hit, ooh. It is big. Let me just quickly upgrade that asteroid. There we go. Just like one shot from them is just so much damage. Really cannot wait to see just how much damage they can output on a bigger ship that's easier to hit. So now that you've seen just an example of just how dangerous these guys are, I'll, uh, I'll cut to some bigger ships when the hard AI spawns them. And uh, get back to you. So I just wanted to show a little clip. You uh, can see that the hyper velocity cannon just took a shot at one of the uh, the Great Fox ships, and you can just see it just did zero, like hardly any damage. So these guys, despite their size, have a lot of hit points. So hopefully that uh, some players can kind of mistake its size and underestimate it because. Wow, that did absolutely nothing. So, I just, before I get to the bigger ships, I just wanted to show you guys just two of these guys taking on one, two, three, four, five, six Arkansans. I can count. <laughs> but yeah, incredible, incredible damage. I really can't get over this, honestly. It's just insane. And like, this one took another hit from a... High, oh, no, this one took a hit from a hyper-velocity cannon. Although some of it did miss. Like, nothing. There's another one. This guy jumps in pretty close. Let's see if we can't actually um, wipe him out. I'm actually going to boost um, weapon power for this guy. So, when I boost the weapon power, we can actually see some new UI play. Which I think is really, really, really cool. Did that just take it out in two shots? Did I miss that? Or am I going absolutely mad? Oh, look, another high-velocity cannon. Nothing. And we've got a Providence here, so a little bit of a bigger ship, which would be quite nice. Let's see. Um, wow. Engine's already gone. Shield's already down. My goodness. This thing is standing absolutely no chance. Wow. That, that literally dropped in and was destroyed. Incredible. They've, oh my god. I just brought in some anti-fire. Let's see how well it does against smaller ships. I think it's gonna like not do as great against smaller ships just because of like the accuracy of the the, the shots. Uh, it didn't do too much damage. It didn't do too bad. It's quite a lot of them. Oh no, that's the Gazanti. <laughs> um Oh no, it's already gone. There we go. I think it built it because um these things aren't amazing at taking out fighters. So I had to bring in like a lot of Gazantes in and some uh, other extra fighters just so we uh, wouldn't lose the space station. Right. Let's uh, wait for the hard AI to pump something else out and I'll get back to you. Okay. So I finally got the AI to spawn some uh, a Precursor, Star Destroyer, a Crimson Command Victory 2 and another Crimson Command Victory 2. So... We've lost one of our Great Fox ships already. Wow, they're really pumping it in. Okay, this is perfect. Let's build uh, another one. And let's see just how well it can handle all of these guys. Um, again, some of the Gazantes are just protecting against fighters. But yeah, here we go. Let's uh, give this a shot. Okay, buddy. Show us what you got. Right, so here he comes in. We're going to start on this one. So, wow! Look at that. Take out his engines as well. 
if it can reach. Yep, down. Another hard point. Take out the fighter bay. Boom. Gone. Now, its shields are down by half. If I bring it up a bit closer. Very mobile ship as well, if you can see. It can really move despite its that You know, even with the amount of damage it has. So, it has, like, four of these IS... Like, uh... Like, Star Destroyers on it. And it's just, like, handling. As well as, like, a... Uh, as well as these provenances. Does not care whatsoever. Shields are down, though, so... It'll be uh, interesting to see if it will be able to keep its damage up. There's another Star Destroyer there. I think it's time for it to boost its damage output. And there's the nice UI again. Thank you, Fox. Look at that. It's just like I, I right click them and then they disappear. Let's go for these engines as well. This guy has definitely lost a lot of his uh, damage output just because, like, it's near, near death. But we took on four of them, and the hard AI just pulled away. Didn't want to have to ha deal with it. Just pulled away their ships, realized their fleet needs to be bigger. And, like, off screen, these guys, you know, the hard AI's been bringing in Arcsons and then Provenances, and now, like, Star Destroyers doesn't phase these ships. Does not phase the Great Fox or Fox McCloud. God, guys, you do not know how excited I have been to show you this. Whoa there. Holy moly. They just dropped loads of ships in. I was, I was middle of taking a drink while I was getting going for a pause in the, in the game, but... The AI is just like, yep, nope, here, have four ships just out of nowhere. So what have we got here? We've got a Crimson Command, another Precursor, another Precursor. I hope I'm saying those right. You know what I'm like. These names. I'm not even going to build another um, Great Fox. I just don't think there's any need to. These guys, these two alone, even with this one about to be destroyed, can handle it. No issue. They did take out my asteroid, though. That's kind of frustrating. But, I mean, you can see the cache. I, I'm, I'm absolutely fine. And there goes our second Great Fox. We've even got another Star Destroyer here. I'm not even going to... I'm still not going to build another one. Look, we've already taken out this guy. Just brilliant, isn't it? Taking damage from all sides. And it does not care. This ship is absolutely insane. It looks great on this map too. Fantastic. There goes one of the Star Destroyers. Which one will be next? Let's try out this one. Health is dropping. I am just going to build another. But I mean, you know, this guy is definitely taken on way more than four of these guys. May not have destroyed them all as the enemy retreated, but still. Okay. There's Seas. Our third star, uh, Great Fox, gone. Let's bring in the next one. Thought it was over. It is not. Comes in. Let's take out the engines on that one. Oh, it did destroy the second uh, Star Destroyer there. I might have been going a little mad there. I'm not sure. But, um, let's get the space station to take out this one since it's close. And Oh, okay. Oh, no, no, no. I thought it was a new ship. It's just the angle. <laughs> Come on, hard AI. I want you to build some new stuff. We've seen these. But I'll show you one more time. Look at it. He's taking damage everywhere. And he's just taking it like a champ. Wow. 
Let me know in the description. Uh, let me know in the comments uh, if you like this ship, guys, and if you want to see more ships like the Great Fox in uh, Thrawn's Revenge. Wow. This guy is nuts. Oh, my goodness. All right. It's time to bring in maybe another fleet of uh, two of these guys to handle these ships. Still building the same. There's not really any other um, Star Destroyers being built by the uh, hard AI. Either way, there goes there goes our fourth Great Fox. Bring in the next one. Take out his engines. Boost those weapon powers. Bring in the next Great Fox. He's trying to retreat. That ain't gonna happen. Wow. Just two of these against all of this. So just to teach the hard AI a bit of a lesson, I'm just going to drop five of these guys and watch all of this just melt away. Oops. Now watch as all of these just disappear. Oh, you bring in another one. Don't matter. Get all of these guys targeted right on this. Gone, 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 gone. Gone and gone. Perfect. Wow, I sped it up. It, it just disappeared. It just, just got deleted. Another one gone. It just brought in another province. It's gone. Look at this province. Gone. It's a Crimson Victory. Gone. This random Star Destroyer just standing in the back lines watching his friends die. Gone. Provenance gone. Another Provenance. Almost gone. Yep, now he's gone. Arxons. Arxons are actually harder to hit. They live longer just because of their size. Oh, he's just dropped in another Star Destroyer. And gone. <laughs> Gone. <laughs> this is absolutely nuts. And gone. Wow. Well, there you go. Oh, more stuff over here. I don't think the hard AI is even going to, you know, bring in any bigger ships. I just think it's just going to keep spamming Crimson Victory 2s and just hope for the best. It's not doing anything. All right, guys. I'm going to cut to... Just bringing all of these to their enemy space station. Just to show you just how quick uh, they'll be decimated. So, I'll just see you in a sec. Alright, here we are guys. Here's a space station. Bring it in. Let's uh, drop it down to normal speed. The, uh, the ships. Four of them. I got prepped. Now, they are swarming our uh, station. We nearly lost our shields, but that does not matter. This guy's already lost half of its shields. Incredible. If we boost the uh, power, uh, the, the damage output, because these are uh, weapon power. Wow. This is just with four of them. I'm just like right clicking these and they just disappear. Gone. Gone. And it's definitely overkill too, because like you can just tell you uh you don't need this amount of damage per hard point. Bang bang bang. Bang bang bang. It's just so easy. And there we go. And there we go. Holy moly. Look at that. Look what we destroyed. Oh my god. 20 provenances. 
55 fighters, 15 bombers, 10 crimson commands, 12 precursor star destroyers. Wait, oh, it had to actually put another 20 provenances in a separate section because is that am i right in thinking that so we did destroy 40 of them wow <laughs> absolutely crazy jesus okay so next up we are gonna go with something absolutely nuts so i'm gonna have Hard AI, hard AI, hard AI, hard AI, hard AI, hard AI, and hard AI, all on the same team against the Great Fox, and uh, see just how well it um, compares. So this is gonna be absolutely nuts. I really want to see it. Maybe it'll be too much for it, but. Uh, We'll just have to wait and see. Can we do... Yeah, let's do Fire Emblem Demise. Let's do that. Okay. This is going to be absolutely crazy. Unfortunately, uh, we can't test it in the, the fleet building just yet. So, can't give you some actual comparisons of bigger um, SSDs. But we'll definitely do that in another episode. But here we go. So, um, I forgot. I forgot how many hard AIs we had. I'm not going to lie. But uh, it'll be super interesting to see just how well it'll compare. So I'm actually just going to try and build as many asteroids as possible because it is going to hurt us. It is really going to hurt us. So I'm just going to defend at the station because I want to actually just see um goodness yeah that's not gonna happen is it cool all right just start dropping them in i want to see i want to see what you're gonna throw at me hard ai just try and see if we can't capture this one at least get out of here get out of here okay we're gonna get that one which is good Just get out of there. Oh, wow. Yeah, no, hard AI's like, nope, not going to have that. Oh, no, it's going to attack the fighter instead. Well, don't matter, I'm still going to lose it. All right, let's just focus on uh, <laughs> protecting this one asteroid. Okay, so we've got one, two, three, four Arkansans right now. Oh, it's trying to build this. Wait, hang on a sec. Destroy that. Get that out of the way. Um, let's upgrade that next. They got this already? No, we've just been attacked. Okay. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. It, stop. Jesus. <laughs> oh my god. It's like, how many Arxons are they building? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Is that, have I counted that one? 12? Oh my god. This is absolutely nuts. This is crazy. Okay, maybe maybe this was a little bit too much. We'll, we'll have to just wait and see. Great Fox is uh, handling it fine. That is, honestly, I can't even build enough fighters to just level this out. There's nothing that can stop this. I'm just going to cancel them. It's just not worth me building them. Hopefully the AI will just focus on the on, on these guys. Oh my god, <laughs> look! We just started. Take that out for me. Let's just take out the carriers and hope for the best. Oh dear. <laughs> I actually thought, you know, we might have had a shot at this. We might have had a shot at this. With these, with these guys, but no. 
Absolutely not. I'm trying to take out all the carriers one by one. Just hopefully, hopefully just that maybe we can overcome these, uh, these fighters. Maybe. I need to build another one of these guys. I really do. Hurry, 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 hurry. Okay, there we go. Oh my god. This can't be real. This can't be real. It's like ants. Oh my goodness. Like vermin. <laughs> Jesus. How many of our fighters are on the on the board there? Ah, just the one. <laughs> Good luck, buddy. Uh, you'll need it. <laughs> okay, we've got our fourth one. Well, uh, there goes our single fighter. Woohoo! Oh my goodness. And they've already got the battle dragons. They're already cheesing it with the battle dragons. You can get rid of that. That ain't going anywhere. Oh my god, would you destroy it as soon as it came in? No, no. Oh, that would have been funny. Oh my god. <laughs> That's nuts. I should have changed it so we could still play after our space station was destroyed. You know, like changing the settings so that all ships have to be destroyed. See how well the stuff that the, the Great Fox ships would handle themselves, but another video for another day. This is just nuts. They didn't even. Yeah. What is that? Oh, it's just two of them put together. Oh my god. Well, there you have it. I just can't believe. Oh, now they're starting to build the provenances. <laughs> I think maybe if you strategically play this out well, you could cheese it by just dropping loads of them at the enemy space station and beating them before they can sp spam like all of the carriers. Where's the fun in that? You know, there's no fight. But, <laughs> well, it looks like the Great Fox can be beaten. Rest in peace, Fox McCloud. Oh! <laughs> Beautiful. Look at this. Now this is a better fight than the Battle of Exegol. Or would you prefer this to have been the Battle of Exegol? I think it, uh, I think it is just like the movies, if, if, you, if you're asking me. Who needs procedurally generated fleets? Just, uh, just ask me, I'll, I'll get it all sorted in uh, Empire at War, pal. Oh, there's the Crimson victory. Bit late, buddy. Bit late. <laughs> the battle's already been lost. There you have it. The Great Fox in Empire at War, Thrawn's Revenge. Guys, I really hope you liked this video. I also hope that you like this April Fools. Guys, let's be real, it's not gonna be in the actual game. <laughs> but if you did like this video, definitely hit the like button and definitely subscribe. It really means a lot. And again, a massive thank you to Corey Loses for modeling and putting this in, in his game Super, super quick for this video. Really, really appreciate it. So links to his channel down below. Uh, definitely say uh, thank you from me to him. But anyway, thanks for watching, guys. I have been Charlie. This is X2, and I will see you in the next video. Peace.